Welcome to Storytime with Fairy. It's World Book Day on Thursday the 7th of March and Fairy is going to go to school on Dress Up Day as the Fairy Dog Mother. So this is the outfit she'll be wearing and the book that she'll be taking to school to read with the children. Fairy works as a school therapy dog at my school so she will be reading this book with the children on the 7th of March. Fairy loves books, she likes to turn the pages, chew the corners and she always shows a lot of interest when I'm reading with my daughter. Today Fairy is going to be reading you the story of the Fairy Dog Mother. It was a perfectly ordinary day at Woofington's dog shelter. Cinders had helped Bernard dig for dinosaurs, given boots some mountain climbing tips and was just wondering what was for lunch when... Fairy, don't chew the book. Wagracadabra, Priscilla Paws coughed a voice. Fairy dog mother at your service. Cinders was understandably surprised. Fairy dog mother, he woofed. Can't read it like that, Fairy. You're covering the words. Like a godmother, nodded Priscilla. The same wings and wand, but with one or two differences. Now all you have to do is wish, smiled Priscilla. But what should I wish for, asked Cinders. Whatever will make you the happiest you can be, answered Priscilla. Fairy, stop chewing the book, please. But Cinders was already pretty happy. I have a cosy bed and food to eat, lots of friends and holes to dig, he told Priscilla. I hate to hurry you, interrupted Priscilla, but wishes have a time limit. Chop, chop, this clock won't stop. It's no good, said Cinders, rolling onto his back. I'm stuck. So Cinders did what he always did when he had a problem. He asked his friends for help, of course. Everyone had a suggestion. I know what I'd wish for, barked Rough and Tough together. Sausages! True happiness is a bone, suggested Titch. Wouldn't you like, just for once, to catch your tail? asked Gruff. Priscilla shook her head. I wouldn't recommend it. But lickety split, she added, the clock is ticking. And it really was loudly, which was quite distracting. I'd love longer legs, sighed Pebbles. Imagine the possibilities, chorus Bernard, Boots and Tallulah. I'd wish for a ball, shouted Boris. What would you wish for, fairy? A wonderful idea, Priscilla winked. I know he didn't mean that kind of ball, but fairy godmothers aren't the only ones who love to dance. Soon wishes were coming so fast that Cinders couldn't keep track. I wish I could climb trees. I want to water ski, to ride a unicycle, to go into space, to be a cat. And time was nearly up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. It's no good, cried Cinders. I can't pick. Then old Wally from the end of the row barked, what about a real owner? And everyone went quiet because the one thing they wanted more than anything was someone to love them and take them home. Just like I did when I rescued Fairy. Suddenly, Cinders knew exactly what to do. I wish for all my friends to find perfect homes with people who love them, he smiled. And with a flick of Priscilla's wand, they did. Cinder's tail was the waggiest of all. His friends were the happiest they could be. And it was all because of him. Thanks, Cinder's, woofed Pebbles. You're the best. Mm -hmm. 
It was a bit quiet when everyone had gone. At least Priscilla hadn't left yet. Thank you for my wish, Cinders said. Do you think maybe they'll come back for vis visits? In my experience, smiled Priscilla, fairy tales always have a happy ending. And she was right, because across town, Alf had just asked his fairy godmother for a best friend. And that's how Alf met Cinders. Because as you know, Cinders is absolutely the very best friend anyone could wish for. Just ask them. And that's the end of the story. I think it sent Fairy to sleep. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.